Hello, I'm Rochelle, a local realtor here in the Hamilton, Burlington, Oakville and surrounding areas. Today I'm out sharing 11 of our amazing local places to get outside this winter and enjoy a skate. Ready? Let's go! Welcome to Princess Point, a part of the Royal Botanical Gardens. In the summer, this is a shallow wetlands home to many amazing animals and flora, but come winter, the water freezes over, creating this expanse of ice to explore. The RBG has taken it a step further this year, creating an experience unlike any other. In the winter, our days are a bit shorter, so by 5 p.m. you're already enjoying the sunset. To keep the fun going longer, they've brought in lights, a fire pit, and teamed up with a local brewery to create the ultimate winter wonderland experience. To check the safety of the ice or for event details, visit the Royal Botanical Gardens website, which I will link below. And total bonus, parking is free for RBG members. Now on the other side of McQuiston Bridge is Carroll's Bay Marsh in Burlington, just below the Royal Botanicals Lake and Garden. This side is a bit more protected from the elements as the bay is surrounded on three sides by the high slopes. If you enjoy train spotting, this is the place to be since the tracks run right along the edge for some added fun. Now before we keep going, I do want to remind you that a lot of the storm water management ponds in our communities have unstable ice and are not suitable for skating. With high salt levels from the street runoff and moving waters underneath with quickly changing water levels, it's best to only skate in places that are deemed safe to do so by the local municipality. Heading back into Hamilton, Pier 8 is iconic in the city. Known for year-round fun, in the summer this rink is for skating on wheels, but come winter and the ice freezing, it becomes an amazing place to enjoy a waterfront skate. With the facilities on the pier and skate rentals on site, this is a great option if some people in your family aren't overly interested in skating but would rather hang out and watch. Burlington has something similar with Rotary Pond in Spencer Smith Park. In this case, it's a hobby pool in the summer, but come winter, it's another waterfront skating opportunity. With rentals, skating assists for newer skaters, and a low edge all the way around to take a break whenever you need, this is a great spot to get skating. If we head up to Waterdown, there is a different kind of skating experience. The Waterdown Loop at Memorial Park in the heart of the community is a winter gem. Opening in 2016, this 230 meter or 750 foot loop has a beautiful shape and is maintained as artificial ice, so again that smooth surface to skate across. There are also great hills here for some tobogganing fun as well. Now if you're finding this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and click that bell to turn on notifications so you never miss another upcoming episode about our amazing communities. While we are up here on the top of the escarpment, let's head over to Valens Conservation Area for another outdoor option. The lake at Valens is around 140 acres and was created in 1968 to help prevent flooding in the surrounding watershed and has become a local favorite for camping, fishing, swimming, and more. Today, we're not talking about winter camping though, we're talking about skating on the beautiful frozen lake. To find out if it's safe to skate, check out the Hamilton Conservation Authority website, which I will link below. If you're looking for somewhere outdoors to skate in Oakville, the town website lists all of the community rinks that are open, which I will link below, but there is the refrigerated outdoor rink in Trafalgar Park. So grab your skates and head to the community center at the corner of Kerr and Rebecca to enjoy the manicured ice. Just over a quarter acre in size, the Bernie Morelli Recreation Center has all the fun of skating outdoors with the convenience of being easily accessible in Hamilton's East End. Heading a bit further east into Stony Creek, known for their marina, long beach and easy access to Lake Ontario, 50 Point Conservation Area also offers outdoor skating when the ice freezes on the pond. Binbrook Conservation Area just outside of Hamilton's community of Binbrook is another reservoir built to help prevent flooding down at the base of the escarpment. It makes for great swimming in the summer and of course skating in the winter. 
heading over to Dundas for our last spot of the day. Dundas Driving Park is rich with history since the town's founding in 1847. With fields, playground, lawn bowling, tennis, and more, it's a hub of summer fun here. But come the colder months, it's the skating rink that brings people together. There is also a city-authorized tobogganing hill here, so you could make a full day of fun in one stop. Skating is not only great for exercise, but it also allows us a unique vantage point to take in our communities and explore the area, not to mention enjoy a little winter fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, keep it genuine.